Okay, documenting my um, my workbench that I just built, and uh, I've got a bunch of photos of it, but I haven't taken any videos. So this will be the the first video of it. Um, just want to go all over some uh, some of the construction pieces in it. Uh, first off, this thing is mainly built from Douglas fir four by fours. All of these are four by fours, and that's the probably ninety percent of it. I've got, uh, there's cross pieces on the top and bottom, and then I've got supports over here in the middle that I've got done. So all of this is Douglas fir. And then I've got, uh, for this trim here, this is all solid oak. And then, and that goes all the way around. And then the top panel is uh, maple uh, plywood. And I've got another maple plywood down at the bottom. The one on the bottom isn't, uh, secured down it's not screwed down it's just loosely placed in there um, in the future i may want to pull that out and i want to have that flexibility as i go um, actually i didn't plan to have all these pieces of equipment on this uh, workbench it just kind of happened that way and i'll talk about that in a little bit but anyway i've got my uh, planer down here on the bottom for uh, smoothing out my wood as I go and I've got a 16 inch clearance between the two legs and the planer is capable of doing a 13 inch piece of wood so I've got plenty of clearance and really the only the widest wood I'm probably going to be doing is 12 inch wood which really when you measure it it's only like 11 and a half inches so I should have a good three inch clearance on both sides so I'll feed the wood in over here and then it'll come out on this side and I've got just as much clearance over here for it and then I've got my dust collection here which I can uh, move from piece to piece from piece of equipment and I've got my um, on the top of the table I've got uh, my sander but I think chances are I'm going to move the sander off into the uh, breezeway workshop and, and probably move my miter saw in here uh, I think it'll work better and this this is the sander is going to make a lot of really fine dust which will get up in the air I'd rather have that in the other room the uh, miter saw makes a more coarse grain dust so uh, it won't it won't spread around all over the place um, but the the table wasn't even built for the planer or the um, sander or miter saw I built this planer to be a, um, a router, a cabinet for my router table. And I want to show you that. I got Fran here. She's going to help me out with the camera. So I'm going to hand off the camera to her. And then I'll show you the, uh, what I've done. So the camera's up here. So don't... Mm -hmm. I can see where I'm okay. Move this off. And then this will make a nice workbench if I want to work on it like this. But the top comes off, and then I've got my router table set down in there. And it fit really well. Everything went together really well on this table. I've got there's a little bit of unevenness, but it's really not not a whole lot. When, when it comes to the uh, four by fours. Um, but this fit in there really well. Once I got it all finished, there's hardly any gap at all around the edges. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, for the for the Douglas fir four by fours, I put on a couple of coats of uh, spar urethane. And it really makes this Douglas fir look really nice. Um, I picked out some of the, as I was work, working with the wood, I picked out some of the nicer pieces so that they could be facing upward and outward so you can see um, there's some really nice knots and grains and things going on over here. Um, and I kept some of the, the print and stuff 
I didn't sand anything down. I kind of like that feature. Uh, imperfections are really nice. I uh, countersunk all the screws so you can't really see the um, hardware unless you get down and look at them uh, all the way around, you know. So and it really turned out good. It's, it's good and solid. It doesn't move around or shake, so everything's balanced out. And what else is there? I think that's it. I'm going to put it back together. And here you can hold that. This goes on. It comes with one bench in itself. And even that's nice and secure and doesn't move around. There's no gaps in it. And like I said, I'll probably put my miter saw up here instead of this. But that'll be for another video or something. And then I can plug in my dust collection there. So that's it. I just wanted to go over my my new workbench. I'm really proud of this. I did it, uh, finished it up a couple of days ago. It turned out really well. And there you have it. Thanks.